Alrighty, Roo, folks, here we go. We're continuing our adventure in The Last of Us. Okay, things are still uh, looking very grim and not particularly hopeful, but then again, that's what this world is all about in uh, The Last of Us. So obviously it's raining, in addition to all the disgusting environments that we have to deal with. We have to deal with the crazy rain. Holy moly. That's what I just said! I guess this is what these buildings look like at close. So weird when I say something and then a character says the exact same thing. Okay. What is that noise? Ah, it might have been a clicker. Oh, no. I really don't want to deal with those yet. We are playing on the harder difficulty, so of course, like I said, I am terrified of making, of running into the clickers, because they're probably going to be a nightmare. Let's see if we can go through here, maybe. Now well, there's the Capitol building. <laughs> Look how it's just the old stone building. Can we climb up here? We sure can. Hey, Tess. Okay. Absolutely not a thing there. Is this open? Sure does. What the heck was that? Did a rat just run by? I don't even know what that was, but that was scary. It's been ripped apart. Yeah, by what? Body's pretty fresh. Oh, <laughs> very bad. Let's not stick around. It's very bad. Okay. So we might be able to go this way. Okay, some more parts for the crafting system in the game, which actually is pretty fantastic. So if we wanted to pause, we could go on ahead and craft one of these many, many things, such as the blade or the b binding, I guess. Those are some of the artifacts things. Can we not pick that up? Okay. So here's the field ops. If you'd like to go on ahead and read that, you can always pause, guys. Oh, and there it is. God damn it. Clicker. Jeez. What's wrong with its face? That's what years of infection will do to you. So what? Are they blind? Sort of. I'm just curious what's up here. Okay, it looks like a dead end. Oh, nope. There we go. You see, it was worthwhile checking that. At least we got something out of it. It wasn't complete waste. But it's also the first time that our uh, protagonists run into a clicker. What I do love is that it's interesting how this game doesn't, like, make you run into those out of nowhere like most horror games probably would. And instead, it kind of shows you what you can expect. It show, sort of explains to you, like, hey, here's what they are, and it explains the concept that they would not be able to see, oh, but they can like hear. So, I think it's actually a really cool uh, way to introduce those um, creatures, and by most accounts, um, the villains of the game. Okay, another tape thing. Okay, well, why would I need to toggle crouch right now? Why does it keep saying that? Shouldn't I be fine now to just move around? Hmm. And one, two, three. Oh, that made a whole lot of noise. Okay, forget. Remember what I said about introducing them in a very scary way? That's it right there. Oh, so that's how they could have introduced them. Oh. But they didn't. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, press this to craft. Well, there's no need for us to craft anything right now. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can upgrade here, like healing speed... Listen, mode distance. I think maximum health and healing speed would be the two things I would want to focus on first. Uh, to make sure we could upgrade that. Okay. Uh, 
do we have any option to craft something to heal or no? Yeah, I don't think so. Oh, thank you. Okay. So now... Should be able to get the healing done. Oh, which is pretty convenient. So that was after the attack from the clicker. That's why his health is down. Which is cool, because again, it shows you that something that happens in a cutscene actually affects the game itself. So, very clever. And of course, they also introduce us to the crafting uh, mechanics. Okay, so unfortunately, that does waste one of the shivs. Let's get the hell out of here. There's definitely more clickers in here. Ah, uh, that's terrifying. What's over here? It's a bottle. Oh, something else on the floor. Oh, it's a brick. Okay. More of those points. I don't think there's anything else, right? Okay. Oh, no. There's more stuff. Almost missed that. That would have sucked. Okay. I guess that wasn't really a waste, if you think about it. Because, yes, we did end up using up one of those um, shifts. But at least, on the bright side, we got uh, a bunch of loot as a result of that. Dead end? Okay. Maybe we should move. That was terrifying when you could hear the clickers running. Just see if there's a way through. Okay. It's clear. Come on, Ellie. Ellie, let's go. Time for you to take a boost. And now something tells me something about to show up. Can you hurry up? Come on, big guy. Give me a Let's go. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Clickers? Shit. Go, go, go. Hide. Hide, 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 hide. Okay, that's terrifying. That noise they make is so horrific. That, that predator sort of sound effect. Okay, don't make any noise. Alright, use sound to distract them. There he goes. It's just the one, right? I don't remember, can you sneak up on these guys or no? Can we climb or what? Okay. We don't have to waste anything. No ammo, no anything. Ellie, you okay? Other than shitting my pants. <laughs> I like the honesty, Ellie. I like the honesty. Oh, that was funny. So that's gonna make a whole lot of noise. Okay. Crouch and drop. Should we go back up? Uh, okay. Just don't look down. There we go. Let's go, Ellie. Just be careful. Nice and easy. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, Ellie. Move, 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 Ellie. On, Ellie. Quickly. Yeah. Get on solid ground. Okay. We're good. There we go. A bit of a stressful section there, not gonna lie. But there we are. 
Why did they run that way? I wonder. Hmm. I mean, I guess they just know the path. Huh. So we could equip that instead. How much do we have? We have six. Nah, there's no point. You got one, two, three. Okay, so runners are not the same thing as clickers, right? I'm assuming. <laughs> do, do, do. Sneak up, sneak up, sneak up. Okay. No, they are not clickers. So they can still see. And therefore, they're quite troublesome. I guess I got one there, one there, one here. Oh, I don't have any bricks. Okay. Wait, why can't I see where they are? Oh, there they are. I thought I thought they were gone from here, so I was so confused for a second. safe, which is good. Just need to be able to sneak up on him. Okay. So we have one clicker-esque creature. Hmm. Okay. This kind of sucks. Okay. I sort of have to wait here until this guy either... Oh, no. I don't know why he turned around so fast. Just these two left, right? Well, that was our first loss. I guess that was supposed to happen. Kind of sucks because we did so much. For oh no! Yikes! Okay, I didn't expect that. That's where the thing starts. Okay, I honestly did not anticipate that. 
It just kind of sucks because we did so freaking well and then one mistake. But hey, I guess that's the whole point of it. So it's clear that the clickers are definitely the worry. Because the clickers are one shot and you're gone. So there's really very, very, very little room for error when the clicker... When it's anything concerning the clickers. Oh, so he did see me. Wow. Okay. Dang, that really sucks. We're, we're, we're like, suddenly this is very difficult. So the clicker should come running, no? Problem is, I don't understand how... Two. Is there four of them or is there five of them? There's five of them. Darn it. I didn't really realize that there was another layer right here. Good to know, I guess. Okay. Let's use that as a distraction. Med kit. Oh, come on, man! comes I think we lost them Why is that guy not going for it? Hmm. I would need them to split up. That was so intense. I freaked out in the clicker fight there, for sure. Oh no. Please leave. Run! Okay. Whew. All right, come on down. 
That was intense, folks. Real intense right there. I'm impressed, Joel. No problem. Let's just get out of here. <sighs> Holy moly, that was intense. Okay. Okay, so we're supposed to what? Figure some way through, right? Maybe we go up here? You know what? I'll actually select the weapon to equip. Come on. Could that thing make any more noise? I guess so. Do we just let go or do they open the door? Alright, hold on. It's so cool to see like them go through the trouble of using little things like this. To like establish how important like this is what makes this world so cohesive is where it's like okay in a regular video game you just pull that apart and then it'd be planted there and then you'd be done here they went through the step of like well you need to prop something else because the angle of the building that thing would just slide back down so it's just attention to detail like that that's really really cool see doing all right okay we got a little bit of healing and I mean, I'm guessing we can't drop. And we can't go that way. Yeah, let's get to which it. means... We get through here. Watch your back. Can't go down there. Anything in here? Nope, nothing. Nada. Nice. You won't take it easy. Hey, you're the one always going on about laying low. And you always brush me off. Well, I won't this time. I believe it when I see it. We're not supposed to go swimming, are we? Okay. Okay, I wonder if Russ Oliver is someone. Or is that an Easter egg or something? I don't know. Maybe it's someone's name. Oh, here we go. See? Yeah, this is worthwhile. Glad we went to check this out, because now we're going to be able to pick something up. Okay, we should probably use the crafting system then. Kind of sucks that you can't use it there, because now we have to shimmy across and then across back again. So we need to go this way. Come across. We don't have the tools to craft that. There we go. And then we should be able to get make our way back across. Pick up that other remaining item. And then we're ready to continue onwards. Ooh. Things are very, very, very stressful in the world of The Last of Us. But, to be fair, when are they not? 